mess with justice. Hey there guys, Conquertron here, and welcome back to another Terrafin only. I'm pretty sure we're going to the Stormy Stronghold, yeah. I've not I don't know. I've been watching a lot of Spire's Adventure because it's related to the project, a project that I have coming up. I don't know how well it'll do. Hopefully it'll do well, but it'll still be like another month or two because it's all editing. And editing for me takes a long time just because, uh, I don't know. I think it's just because I run out of time and I don't have very much of an attention well, span, which is why I like playing. Skyhunters. <laughs> Anyways, this should be very easy. I just had to double check to make sure this was the right save file. Oh yeah. Oh wait, we need the key. Right, I'm just gonna bounce off the wall here quick. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, I think that, yeah, that made it. Boom! There, get some extra speed in that thing. Can I be hit by the spikes while I'm, oh. All right, I thought I could stop. No, I just get like rejected by the spikes. <laughs> there we go. Shaky, shaky, shaky. I don't know, but like, I've been down in my recording setup for like maybe 45 minutes, but I've only recorded for like 10 because my computer had to restart a bunch. Like, had to completely restart for like updates twice. Uh, which is ridiculous. Anyways, I actually think that in the first two games where there's no jumping, Terrafin is a lot better because as you saw, you can just go underneath the ground and like even the blade witch is blade will just bounce off. So I think Terrafin is best in the first two games. In other games, maybe not as good. Ow. Because like there's jumping and you can jump out of the way or something, but I mean, it's still pretty good. Like even when I popped up in the air, the blades still bounced off, so. And like still in other games to be like completely be able to dodge moves compared to like you know, just kind of dodging of like jumping. Cause like you can still be hit in the air while jumping. With, with the fin being under the ground, you're, you've basically got full immunity. And then you can, you know, fire off with a really big attack. I also want to test them. Oh, I can! Underneath the ground, I can send off the mini sharks. All right, that's a pretty big thing to do. Nope. Ow, ow. Ooh, I don't think I had to do that, but I definitely have. Nope. I'm probably gonna be using the belly flop move so much because it's really big, really quick damage. And you can, I think, so far, I've definitely used it mostly as a dodging move when I go underneath the ground to dodge out of the way. But then, like, you can follow up right away with a freaking belly flop, which will instantly kill anything, so. Just let me uppercut that chompy right there. Let's go. Alright, this will be a pretty quick level, it's not... Maybe six minutes total? I don't know. Depends. Oh, geez. Because it's four minutes in right now. Right. Oh, geez. That guy actually took quite a lot of damage. He's probably got, like, more... He's got more than 100, probably 100... 140-ish mm, health, maybe? I don't know. Ooh. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> like the Jaws music, that's what I should be playing. 
I'm probably gonna get copyright for that one right there, but I don't know. Hi! You can't catch me. Mm. There we go. Simple as that. That actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. Hmm. Oh no. Alrighty. I don't know what that was. Like he just started spazzing out on me or something. What's gonna happen, I bet, is I'm gonna get way too cocky in one of these later levels. Where there's just like a dramatic difficulty increase, and I, and I am gonna feel that, and I'm gonna lose a life or something. Oh no! Probably like right here. Oh. Over here, dummy. That's not actually what I was trying to do, but I mean it works. Ooh, baby. Sweet. Okay, so it took six and a half minutes. I was like 30 seconds off, but that was still pretty good. Check out the- oh. Alright. I keep forgetting that there's actually stuff that you have to do in the actual ruins. Because in most- A lot of the Skylanders games you don't have to do that much. Cause like, in Giants, there's nothing you can really do. You can just, except for like the Horuk Challenge bit, like, immediately you can go from one to the next to the next. Swap Force, yeah, at the beginning there's a lot to do, but towards the end it, does, it fades off. But I suppose Rise Adventure does that too. Trap Team, you can basically do the same thing. Like, you've got to go to Persephone at the beginning, and then, ta and then Mags will show something. Like some building being put in, or like the expansion packs, which you don't actually have to go to. So I, I suppose Trap Team doesn't have anything. Superchargers doesn't have anything, like at all. I mean, at the beginning, it definitely shows you around and makes you talk to people, but like that's not really doing anything except for sitting there for one punch, really. Sitting there and doing nothing, so whatever. And then Imagineers, you definitely have to do stuff like stuff in the academy, specifically the library, like free Flynn and get the little ju Jack in the Box thingy. Oh, come on, you're not dead yet. You will be. Aha! Blaster Crawl? Knew it. I actually quite like the Blaster Crawl. Bye bye. I think the Blaster Troll is replaced by the D Riveter and Giants. In Giants, like, they had different names for, like, things that do, like, the exact same thing, like the Troll Stomper. They replaced it with, like, the Gun Snap. Like, what's the difference? And then, like, D Riveter with the Blaster Troll. Or. The ch like the rhubars or the rhubarb with like those trogmander stuff, and then like the undead spell punk with the uh, trogmancer or whatever his face is. Grenade general. I think this guy's actually called grenade troll, but then they changed it to grenade general, which I do admit sounds better. I would rather call him grenade. Although they do do a lot less damage in this game than in giants. They're still annoying, but not as annoying because they don't do as much damage. Can I? No, no. Ah, that's so. Zoom, 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 zoom. Surprise! Yeah. Oh no, I'm stuck. I will admit. I've definitely grown a bit of affection towards Teraphin just in like this first few episodes. 
I think that's just because in uh, Spire's Adventure, like, if you come in with, like, any fully upgraded Skylander, especially heavy hitters, like Terrafin or Stump Smash that do a lot of damage with one move, if you spam that, you'll be able to basically one-shot them, which just makes the game a lot of fun, to be honest. You'll be able to breeze through the game, and then in later levels, it'll definitely get harder, but not impossible. It's still pretty easy, because just that damage output is ridiculous. So I've got no problems. Before, I wasn't a huge Terrafin fan. Like, I didn't have any problems with him, but he definitely wasn't, like, top 10 Earth material, I guess. Earth is a pretty good element. I should probably do a tier list where I rank every element based on its roster. I should probably write a note to myself on that one. I think that's... Yeah. This level's really short. Or at least it feels really short, just because there's not a whole lot of space to move, if you know what I'm saying. I'm mean, like, all of it's in a real condensed area, but you're still, like, going up every time, so... Did I do it? Did I miss? Really? Really, game? You couldn't have done that? You couldn't have gave me that? Whatever, bro. Alright. Um, hopefully this will make it. I think it should. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Let's do another one! We still got plenty of time, I think. Uh, I actually think it's Dark Water Cove, which I think is definitely one of the... Oh. Which I definitely think is one of the longer... It said grab the oil can, but what do I do with it? Oh, the farce here, right? Grab the oil can. Yeah, I grabbed it. What do I do with it? Jeez. I think they'd be a bit more specific. I thought it was talking about the Clamtron down there, which didn't make any sense because Clamtron doesn't come until... I actually think it might be after the whole water thing. It goes to the earth. I don't know. Regardless, Dark Water Cove. Dark Water Cove, like I said, Dark Water Cove is definitely one of the longer levels. Just, I'm not sure if it's actually any longer, but it definitely feels longer because of the distance traveled. There's a lot of distance to go. And this is like my favorite level in Spire's Adventure. I really enjoy this level. Like, it's not a hard level. Ooh, Earth. I think this might actually be the first Earth zone that we actually get to take advantage of here. Yeah, get it. Boom. Oh yeah, now we can just one-shot these bricks here. Here. Have fun with that. Oh, that guy just... Whoever shot who, shooting those cannons are just doing my work for me at this point. So. I got zero problems with that. Did I really just pop up without doing a thing? A belly flop? Oh, hello. How are you? I think we just come over here. Oh shoot. Come over here and drop down. Although I think another thing that makes Dark Water Cove feel longer is because it's got a lot of This is what I would want in a Skylanders like um What was that open world? Like it's more linear, but there's a lot of stuff to explore. Like, there's still a linear path that you have to take to actually complete the story, but, like, there's a lot of stuff to explore on the sides and side quests. That is what this level is. You could easily, easily, easily spend 20, 30 minutes just trying to get everything on their first run. Which is why this... I really like this level, too. I think if they ever do come out with a open-world Skylanders game, which I definitely think they should do. I think that would be my preferred choice to take the Skylanders um, franchise. 
then they definitely have to design it more off of dark water codes and not say um I don't know. Nothing's really coming. Like us, I'm not think. I can't think of any like super linear levels right now. Um, take like um, Cascade Blade maybe. Cascade Blade. There's not a ton to go off of. Or like the first level. The first level in the game. There's not a ton to do, like there's a few elemental gates, but like everything has that. So there's not a ton that you can actually... Sick. Alright. Bonk. Let me through. Hey, there's Igniter Solon. Soul Gem. I actually really, really enjoy Igniter. Ooh, get out of here. Ooh, that was some big damage. Right, where do we go? I always get lost here because this is another like like uh oh no no another reason why it's such an expansive level because like there's a teleporter right there that usually I would think that's where you'd go but then I usually end up do going that way but it doesn't actually do. Really and I think you head this way, yeah. Sucker. If you haven't realized already, there's gonna be a lot of belly flopping in this run. A lot. Probably just as much belly flopping as there is punching. Ooh, that was close. Kinda walled off that place right there. These guys are so annoying. Ooh, there we go. Alright, I think this is... Oh, hello. Oh, there we go. That was a delayed belly flop combo right there, but whatever works. Okay. Surprise! Ooh, I'll take that. There we go, up, up, up. and we'll grab this. Oh, come on, you're not gonna- oh, there we go. I thought it wasn't gonna let me just cause there was... Uh, haven't defeated all the eminent pen- and in your knees. Ow. Is this a ship we're supposed to take, or do we have to open the gates first? Okay, another two things. Why can't you skip this, and why are you talking to pirates? Hmm? How's that? Elven ship? I don't know, but whenever I hear elves or dwarves or something like that, I, I immediately think Lord of the Rings. Because, I don't know, if, but for some reason I've been obs quite obsessed with... Lord of the Rings. Are you supposed to be up here? Lately? Especially with the new game that came out, the new mobile game. It's a lot of fun, I've been playing it quite a bit in my free time. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it free time, but definitely down, like on the bus or something. Just when there's nothing else to do. Cause I've got plenty to do. Like I've got videos to edit, videos to record, videos to script. Because I'm actually uh, going to start scripting a few of my bigger projects. Like, I'm not going to start scripting the discussion videos. Those are like four minute things that I do real snap and quickie. But like, I've got another uh, different thing that I want to do at some point. I should probably start typing that up. I've got a bunch of projects going on that I really want to do. But I just do not have the time to do them all at the same time. And I'm having trouble deciding whether I want to just focus on one and like get it done or like one at a time get one done get two, and then finish them all at the finish them all or like work a little bit here another bit there or something like that I don't know what I'm gonna do so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all 
next time.